It will be all hands on deck as Stumped Productions is hosting a puppet slam at the refinery this weekend. The event is both a fundraiser for the organization and a chance to encourage interest in the art form. The Puppet Slam is really fun because we get to work with other artists in the community who've expressed interest in puppetry that we maybe haven't worked with before. And we've had a wonderful process of being able to talk to them and talk them through their pieces and help them with their puppet build and all that kind of stuff. It's wonderful to have all these puppet conversations happening because it's a wonderful art form. The fundraiser is being staged to help build the 44 puppets that will be required for Titus which will play at Shakespeare on the Saskatchewan this summer. The ambitious project requires more than 670 pieces to be sculpted and cast, and then assembled, painted, dressed, and given hair. Because of what happens in the show, there's stabbings and there's uh, limbs removed, it's, 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 it's a little violent. Um, uh, so as a result, we have about 15 characters that need more than one version of themselves. The creative forces behind Stumped Productions, which also stage the more kid-friendly, wide-open puppet shows, have been working closely with other puppet artists to prepare for Titus, as well as their own individual shows which will be on display at the Slam. I've built Bernie over the past couple weeks getting ready for Puppet Slam with a lot of the help of Crispy. <laughs> so uh, he's made the traditional style of all the wide open puppets, um, but we changed sort of a bit of his shape so he can be a little more horizontal. This is my puppet. He's for my show for the Puppet Slam, which is called LonelyPuppets.com, and it's about a puppet who's on a puppet dating site looking for love. And so he gets sent these like video profile videos from these uh, three people. And they are not the most appealing of people for him. I want to develop it eventually into a full length uh, fringe play. But for now, I'm just going to try it out, try out the puppet, try out some of the audience interaction moments and see how that goes. The Puppet Slam is not for younger audiences as it will feature decidedly adult content. The event runs Saturday and Sunday night at the refinery and will include a number of productions as well as a preview of the big show this summer. They've been working on scripts and building puppets and uh, they're doing <laughs> <laughs> They're doing five minute uh, pieces for the Puppet Slam and we are also going to be workshopping with some of the Titus puppets on Saturday as well and presenting a, l a little scene from Titus. In Saskatoon, I'm Simon Hyatt reporting.